I welcome you all for the wireless communication lecture module. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the transmitter diversity with and without the channel state information. So, in the previous lecture, we have discussed about the, what is the transmitter diversity. The transmitter diversity is nothing but a, we have a n number of transmitting antenna and a one receiving antenna. So, we are going to transmit n multiple copies, m number of multiple copies of the same information at the transmitted end. And we have one receiver which goes to receive the signal out of which in such, in such a way we are going to select in such a uh, diversity schemes out of which we are going to extract your original information. Okay. So here in the transmitted diversity, here wireless one the major concept is normally the channel, it is a wireless channel, you know, the channel is always a, a random variable. Okay. It has to vary with respect to time. Okay. So here the transmitted diversity is with the help of a channel state information or without the information of a channel state. If there are two conditions while transmitting the information from the transmitting antenna. So for example, the receiver will provides will provide the feedback to the transmitter about the channel. First the transmitter will transmit information. So the information will reach the receiver. Once the signal has reached you, you know, then there will be a, along with the signal from the, uh, uh, the trading effects will be added, the channel effects will get added with the original signal. Now the receiver will provide some feedback information to the transmitter about the channel state information. So this information is called as the channel state information. Then the channel state information is normally provided by the receiver with the help of a feedback loop. Once the transmitter knows the information about the channel, you know, the, uh, we have n number of transmitting antennas, you know, the transmitter will adjust the weights of the individual antennas in such a way that it creates a complex conjugate of the channel so that it creates a constructive and destructive interference. Finally, we are going to receive a one received signal at the receiving antenna which has a higher SNR. This is the advantage if the transmitter knows about the channel. If the transmitter knows about the channel, you know, it is going to adjust the weight in such a way that, okay, due to the constructive and destructive difference, we are going to receive only one signal at the receiving end, which has a high SNR. This concept is known as the maximum ratio transmission. Okay, the entire concept is called as a transmitter diversity with channel state information. The second one is uh, the transmitted diversity scheme without a channel state information. So there is, if the receiver does not provide any information to the provide feedback to the transmitter, you know, obviously the transmitter will never know about the uh, information about what the how the channel is going to behave. So in that case, the transmitting end does not know about the how the channel is going to behave. So this is called as a transmitted diversity without the channel state information. So if the CAC is not available to the transmitter, again there are two schemes which is used to transmit the information. First one is a delay diversity. So in this case, the signals are transmitted from the different antenna elements or delayed copies of the original signal. So antenna transmitter, antenna 1 is going to transmit at the, some period of time. After that, Antenna 2 will transmit after some delay. The next element is going to transmit the information after some delay. So, with the help of delayed copy of signal, is going to transmit from the M number of antennas. Okay. So, this is to make sure that the effective impulse response is the delay dispersive. Okay. So, this is considered even the channel is also flat fading. Okay. In a flat fading channel, the transmit data seems with the delay symbol one duration for each transmitting antenna. We are providing one symbol duration for each of the transmitting antennas. We are delaying that. Okay. So the effective if we are delaying that, you know, the effective impulse response on the channel will become one divided by root of n of k summation of k. This is the equation which will provide the delay diversity schemes. This is how the channel will begin. Okay. And the second scheme is if we don't have a CSI, then the second one is free phase sweeping diversity. First, we are adjusting the time delay. In the second concept, we are going to adjust the phase of the individual elements. Okay. 
we are going to create some phase difference between antenna element 1 and 2 and then 2 and 3. Similarly, we are going to create some phase difference between m number of antennas. Okay. So, these phase shifts will provide a time varying phase shifts while reaching at the receiving end. Okay. This means that the received signal will add up in a time varying gain. Okay. So, we are artificially introducing temporal variations in the channel. Okay. So, this is one scheme which we are going to transmit if you do not have the CSI. So, this is about the transmit diversity with CSI and without CSI. If we know the channel information, we will create a constructive interference. Okay. So, we will, we will receive one signal with a high SNR. Okay. If we do not have the CSI, then we have two schemes. One is delay. We are going to deliberately delay the each of the M antennas. Okay. So, it will have, uh, does not have an interference with one another. And then the second one is we are deliberately adjusting the phase of the signal with the M antennas. So, that is called as a phase sweeping diversity.